India today's Gaurav Savan spoke to French resident and actor Koel Puri regarding Prime Minister Modi's visit to France and what it meant to the Indian diaspora. Listen. In. So magnificent fireworks in Paris earlier today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was at the Louvre state banquet in his honor by President Macron and very few select guests there. Amongst them, Koel Puri joins me on the show. Koel, welcome on India Today. Thank you, Gaurav. I have to say it's actually quite a proud moment to be an Indian in France. You know, I've been here for five, six years and it's a very different diaspora to UK and US where we have cultural ties, we watch their films, you know, there's a big, there's a big ecosystem that exists. That does not exist in France, but it's coming into place. And Prime Minister Modi being here, these connections of India being promoted here, all the business ties that we've talked about, that, that the governments have been talking about, it's really making an ecosystem for us Indians in France. That's all I'm interested in, right? There is an the ecosystem coming up. Indians are being treated with, res with respect here? Well, of course. If you look at all the uh, top management, CEOs, CFOs of all the luxury companies, L'Oreal, Chanel, um, Cartier, Angie, Danone, which is a, they're either, um, they're actually not either, they are Indian. Yeah. They yeah. are Indian. Uh, tonight, in fact, you had a lot of Indians um, from across the border as well, from London, who were here. There was Mr. Lakshmi Mittal here. There was uh, Vikram Agarwal, who is the CFO of Danone. Um, there was uh, Lena, uh, who is uh, the Chanel uh, Global CEO. There were so many Indians. It's a moment to, to, for us to feel proud. But more than that, it's a connect, you know. It's for us Indians in France. People forget that we are here too because it's not an easy connect, you know. So what happened inside? What happened at the Louvre, a museum that the entire world wants to come and see? You were inside. It was closed for public today. What happened? I tell you it's magical because you're inside the pyramid, right, the glass pyramid yeah. that's there. The whole museum is closed to the, uh, to the public. You are the select few who are being ushered in. There is a band, an army band that's playing on a red carpet before you walk in. I was early, so it was literally me and the band walking in. Um, you get there, you're, we were actually in the Italian and the Greek uh, statues, the marble statue rooms which is so exquisite. You see um, the sky uh, light, the Louvre, um, the pyramid out there. We're all waiting. It's a reception. I kind of wanted to get something from my bag, so I placed my drink on a bench. Immediately someone came and said, it's the Louvre. You can't place something here. And I realized, of course, that's an artifact. You can't just put it like, you know, it's not just a bench. It's a bench dating some, I don't know, yeah, how you know. Thousand years ago. How many thousand years ago. I believe that President Macron, before Prime Minister Modi came in, had a little private tour of the Louvre, and why not, right? But they came in, it was an extremely casual um, uh, ambience. It was not a casual affair, but it was an extremely casual ambience. You could walk up to Prime Minister Modi, you could walk up to President Macron. I have selfies with them. Wow. I have selfies with Bridget Macron. There was no, like, obvious security guarding you. You could mix around. I have to credit here the Indian um, embassy and the soft diplomacy that they've been putting into place with a lot of events, with a lot of networking that's been taking place in Paris, in France, um, I within different festivals, is that they're bringing French, Indian people who live in France, who work in France, who are here in touch with other people and bringing them to the forefront where there are more and more leadership programs happening, yeah. there are more and more chambers that are working towards finding a connect. And for me, living here, that's really a moment of like, thank God, thank God someone's doing it. Your key takeaway, your biggest takeaway from this, uh, from this state banquet at the Louvre uh, this evening. What was your biggest takeaway? What is that one thought that will stay with you? Pride, I think. I feel proud to be Indian here. Not just because um, India is having its moment in France, it really is. Um, but because um, 
India is having a moment in the world, I think, right? Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, and in in different ways, you know, even even for instance, like you can't see, but I'm wearing this amazing Indian dress, right? Um, and there was so much, like it's just a normal Indian dress, right? Indian skirt, whatever, lehenga. But in France, my God, that's like, oh my God, that's couture. Wow, where did you get this from? That's fantastic. There is this. There is this moment of pride of being Indian in France and being recognized for it. In fashion, not so much in food yet. Restauranteurs, are you listening? Not so much in food yet. But definitely, you know, our fashion moment is happening. Our business moment is happening. Our political moment is happening. Now we need to get our cultural and our soft diplomacy in place. What were some of the highlights at this banquet? Okay, personal Ooh. highlight. Okay, yes. Personal highlight. I went up and um, introduced myself to obviously Prime Minister Modi and to Madame Macron, Brigitte Macron. Um, and I have to say, she was so receptive. You know, I, um, I said, we're really having a moment. I feel proud to be here. I've been living here for six years, five, six years. And it really feels like finally we're finding an ecosystem, a network. And she says to me, in perfect English, she goes, why has that not been the case before? I said, well, perhaps because it's not similar to the cultural history that we have with UK and with US. We don't watch French films. You don't listen to Bhangra. You know, there is no, con there is no mix of culture, of uh, languages, yes. But also there is no real history and attachment between France and India. Perhaps that's why. And she turns around. And I hope she's going to listen to this. And Madame Macron turns around and she goes, I want to fix this. I said, okay, how? And she goes, I'm going to have a cultural event in Palais de Lise, where is the uh, uh, president's house, annually, which is going to celebrate Indian culture. Now, I don't know what she has in plan or what she's thinking of or even if she's thinking yet. But if she does this, I'm going to be part of this. And I think it's a fabulous idea. How wonderful that would be. And, and we have such rich culture from, from Ladakh to Lakshadweep in our country. I mean, it'll take them years to have every state. And you know, France has a rich culture that we know nothing about. True. You know, Indians, we know a lot about America. We know a lot about uh, uh, the UK. United Kingdom, or Australia even, or whatever. But we don't know so much about France. And French heritage... There is a long history. I mean, it's historically, we are more, we should be partners in terms of, you know, the richness of, uh, the superiority we feel in our music, in our arts, in our food, in the way we dress, in the way we talk. But somehow the connect is missing. So if Madame Macron pulls this off, this would be wonderful. So maybe this would be one of the things that I take away. Absolutely. In fact, this would be one of the key takeaways when this happens and hopefully it will happen in the years ahead. I think she's a woman of her word, you know. So if um, Madame Macron thinks that, okay, fine, we need to fix this Indo-French system and we can do it with soft diplomacy, then she's the woman to do it. And I'm going to be right by her side if she needs me.